Let's be real for a second. Smartphone cameras don't really get huge upgrades year after year anymore. I mean, Samsung, Apple, Google, they've all kind of figured out what works. So now, every new generation is mostly about tiny tweaks, and sometimes, no hardware upgrades at all. But today, we've got something a little different. Ice Universe, the leaker who never misses when it comes to Samsung, just dropped a pretty big hint about the Galaxy S26 Ultra's camera. And honestly, it sounds like a meaningful upgrade. So, here's what's going on. Back in July, Ice Universe mentioned that the S26 Ultra would stick with Samsung's own Isocell HP2 sensor. That's the same 200 megapixel sensor they've been using since the S23 Ultra. But he also teased that the S26 Ultra's main camera would get a large aperture. Well, today, he's back with more details. According to him, the S26 Ultra will come with an f 1.4 aperture on its primary camera. Now, Ice didn't mention where this info is coming from, but let's be honest, his Samsung track record is solid. When he leaks something, it's usually spot on. All right, for those wondering why aperture size even matters, quick refresher. The aperture is basically the opening that lets light hit the camera sensor. The smaller the F number, the bigger that opening is. So the S25 Ultra had an F slash 1.7 aperture, but the S26 Ultra's F slash 1.4. That's significantly wider, more light coming in better low light photos. And with a larger aperture, you also get that creamy background blur, more depth, more professional looking shots. Now this might not sound like a mind blowing upgrade at first, but in a world where smartphone camera upgrades have slowed down to a crawl, this is actually a big deal. Especially because Samsung has been lagging behind the competition when it comes to low light performance. If this F slash 1.4 aperture delivers, it could finally close that gap. So yeah, it's not a total camera overhaul, but given how things have been in the past few years, we'll take it. The S26 Ultra might actually bring a noticeable difference where it counts. So what do you think? Is this the kind of upgrade that excites you, or are you waiting for Samsung to pull off something truly crazy in their next flagship? Let's chat in the comments, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, greeter then.